Hello everyone, my name is Ark and welcome back to another Nendroid review. Today we're going to be taking a look at two figures this time around. We're going to be taking a look at the Himiko Toga and Ochako Uraraka from My Hero Academia. So these ones I've had in my collection for a long time, I just never opened them, so I just decided to do a video for pretty much the new season of uh, My Hero that's, I think, out right now. Or already came out, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't kept up with the series since season three, so there is that. So yeah, without further ado, let's get them out and review them together. Alright, so here we have both Nendroid Toga and Nendroid Ochako. So, something that caught my eye is that they actually have articulation. So, they actually have articulated arms and Ochako has articulated legs. That is something I, I was not expecting at all. So, yeah, very nice overall. So, starting off with Ochako, I gotta say, she looks really nice. I think it's fairly accurate to the source material from what I remember uh, I like the little shininess the gloss that she has throughout her suit and also like the matte finish in some of the areas the details on the face looks really nice there is some shadows throughout the hair they're not that prominent uh, prevalent or prominent so they don't like take away from the actual sculpt of the hair which is really nice and again, the detail on the face is just perfect, pretty much. But she does have articulation, so I will get that, uh, get onto that uh, in that section. So Ochako looks great, matte finish, gloss finish, everything looks great. So with uh, Toga, <clears throat> ah, there. there we go. Okay. So, with Toga, so she does pretty much look exactly the same as she does in the anime. And maybe the manga, I haven't really read the manga at all. So, I love the hair. The hair is very well sculpted. Again, she does have some shadows through here and there. Not that noticeable um, from afar, but very noticeable from up close. But yeah, the sculpt on the hair looks really nice. I don't know if you can move these. So, it doesn't seem that you can actually take off the, the buns of the hair. But that's fine. The face looks really nice. I love the face. I love that expression. The really big smile and everything looks awesome. The little glossiness on her um, bow on the for the for her uniform and everything looks nice. The skirt is soft plastic. The arms look great with a matte finish, and everything else looks fine. And then she does have a cover in the bottom. So if you guys want to know that, <laughs> um, but yeah looks great overall i think the details on the vest could have been more um pushed out with some shading here and there but it looks fine nonetheless but yeah now that i have her here let's jump on to the articulation part of this video so again they can move the arms like up and down and then you have a hinge for elbows i don't know if this is specifically uh, only for the My Hero Academia uh, Nendroids. This is like the first time around I've gotten to this point where they actually have joints. So that's surprising to me. And she can swivel her head back uh, side to side and then look down that far. Look up this much if you want to have her looking up or down. And then the legs, they're typical Nendroid legs where you're not going to be able to get much range. That's as far as you can get pretty much just pushing them up and um, to the front and back with her at least. But with Ochako, that's actually a different story because she does have similar articulation. She can look down this far. She can not really look up because of her hair. That's a big chunk of hair, by the way. Arms, you can move them up and down, which is great. You can rotate them pretty much 360 degrees if you wanted to. And there's a little blemish right here from paint, but that's fine. And bicep swivel as well. And also, elbow joint. 
not the greatest elbow joint, but it works for a figure this size for sure. Uh, waist swivel a little bit. I don't need to stand for this. Waist swivel for uh, just a tiny waist swivel, so you can move your head, the head back uh, side to side, and the legs. Same range of motion, a little bit better, honestly, but they do have knees, like jointed knees, which is great. I think this looks awesome. So yeah, overall, pretty good in terms of articulation for both of them. They exceeded my expectations. I was expecting not much articulated stuff from Nendroids, but they pretty much blew everything out of the water <laughs> overall. Definitely some of the best Nendroids I've had in recent times. So... Let's move on to the accessories because there's a lot to talk about for these two. All right, so starting off with Toga's accessories, she has a lot of accessories, as you can see. Honestly, I could have made this a video of its own, but I wanted to do a double review and I did not think that she had this many accessories. So going over them real quick, she does have a sort of smiling face with a mouth open, which is really nice. Something about this face that does coincide with another accessory, which is the tongue sticking out accessory you can push out this section right here if i can show it correctly there is the little tab that you can push inside so just push it out make sure not to lose that mouth as you can see it's right here have it right over here and then i'm going to grab this one and i'm just going to switch it out now you have a tongue sticking out toga so there is that she does have more of a sadistic type of expression that she wants to take your blood and drink it and become you because she loves you so that's great she does come with her little like mask uh thingy that she uses in the anime and in the series and all that kind of stuff which looks very well painted doesn't have as much white smudging as i would have thought her little backpack that she does come with and this is the little uh waist section that you could connect to it you connect it to Toga first and then here in the back, which is great. Uh, the little container thingy that you connect onto the one of these things. I don't know where though. Wait, do I need to? Oh wait, I do. So there's one that you can take out, I think. Wait, there we go. It's coming out. Oh, you can rotate them too, that's cool. So if you, they're getting in the way, you can rotate them. So you can take this off. Pretty sure you can take all of them off. Unless it's just one. It might be just one, actually. Okay, so I saw, I just noticed it. So you can take off the ones on the bottom. Yeah, so you can take off those at the bottom and connect this instead to get more of an action-y pose for her, which is really nice. Um, probably not gonna be doing that anytime soon, but I will be showcasing that in my final section for the video. And so there is that. Hopefully they just go in easily and the pegs don't break. Cause that would suck a lot. <laughs> They're tiny pegs. This one is weirder do I have to put it in a certain way apologies for taking forever in doing this because I decided to do two figures in ones oh, I broke it but I did not okay great you can also take this off by the way so do be careful with that just taking off things without your knowledge uh, hand accessories she does come with two uh, closing fist hands two pointing hands uh, a leg that's like this so i think this is the left right leg this is the right leg by the way and then two holding hands for her little knife weapon that she uses so just get the knife put it right there and it has a little blood that's really nice uh she does come with a shuck uh effect again i already went over that and these are for her wrist i believe I'm like 90% sure those are for her wrist. If not, I don't remember where they go. Where do they go? That's her leg stuff, not the wrist stuff. That's for her leg. So these are for her legs. So that's great overall. So yeah, a bunch of accessories. Uh, but yeah, overall, 
good figure so far. Now let's take a look at Ochako's accessories. All right, so Ochako does come with less accessories, but still a decent amount nonetheless, uh, especially for a Nendroid that's not really in production at the moment. I know Toga is, but this one is rarer. So she does come with that little smug phase that she does in the manga and anime, I believe. And of course, a whole different head sculpt with her visor, which is really nice. Uh, it does take up a lot of space, as you can see, it's it's huge. You can take it off still, so you can switch out the face plates and everything. So don't worry about not being able to switch the face plates, because you can. Two little fists, these are Toga's fists, just letting you know. I did not want to take the other ones out. They're the exact same. They're literally the exact same mold. So I'm going to put those to the side. The uh, ability thing that she does with her quirk. So she can float. So that does mean that you can take off the bicep swivels and put those instead. And of course you have the float effect. So yeah, not as many accessories as there should be in my opinion but it does fit the character nonetheless. So now, uh, going over into my final thoughts, for though for these two figures, I'm gonna start off with Ochako. So Ochako, again, surprised me the most with the amount of articulation that she comes with. I did not expect a Nendroid to have hinge elbows and hinge knees. So that was a very surprising factor for just me in general. Same with Toga. I did not expect Toga to come with hinged elbows, but yeah. I'm gonna give Ochako a, an 8 out of 10. And I do, uh, I will say that I do think she is great and good overall. I just wish she came with a little bit more, you know? And that, that's just me. So an 8 out of 10 seems more reasonable for her. Now, going over to Toga's section. I do think that Toga does come with a lot more accessories and is better well it's better sculpted than Ochako. Ochako is more softer and rounder in terms of proportions for like a character. While Toga, sort of similar, but she does come with the jag like the messy hair and the and, and the the limbs are different, the legs are completely solid. She does have hinge elbows, which I'm again surprised about. And a lot of accessories, a lot more accessories, which is really nice. So I have no issue with that. So in that case, I'm going to give Toga a 10 out of 10. Because I do think that she comes with a lot of things that are necessary for her character. And you are going to be able to recreate a bunch of different scenes with her. Now, uh, I want to know what you guys' thoughts on these two figures are. Or if it's just one of them, if you have one or the other. Let me know what you guys think, but that is all the time I have for you today, so I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.